Folks, the parents on our show today are right now going to be shocked out of their wits by their teenage kids. Parents who we ask, do you know, I mean, do you have any idea what your kids do at night? You know those teenagers who say, hey, Mom, going to the mall, going to go visit a friend, going to go catch a new movie, going to a basketball game, and they're not. 17-year-old twins, Natalie and Nicole, and their best friend, 15-year-old Christina. We also have 16-year-olds, Nick and Chris, all say those little things, Mom, I'm going someplace, and they're not. What are you guys really doing? Now, these twins over here look like they're <laughs> dying to say something. <laughs> what do you girls really do? What do you, first of all, where do you tell mom you're going, first Always of all? We say we're spending the night at Christine's. Oh, Christine's part of this pack. <laughs> okay, so everybody's going over to spend the night at Christine's. Yeah, yeah. I spend the night at their house. And you, spend, and you <laughs> yeah. say you're going to go spend the night at their right. house. Right. And so where do you really go? Out clubs. Raven. Out clubs, Raven. No, what downtown. is all? You go downtown, <laughs> it's really bad. There's Lots of clubs to go Where to. are you from? Orlando. 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 Yeah. So you go downtown to the clubs. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And you're how old? 17. 17. And you're not supposed 15. to be in the clubs. And you're how old? 15. 15. <laughs> Does this girl look 15? <laughs> <laughs> and you're going into these clubs. <laughs> what do you do when you go in the clubs? Just meet guys. <laughs> dance. Drink, dance. We like to dance. Now you're doing a lot more than dancing. <laughs> <laughs> what else are you doing? <laughs> Drinking. drinking. Yeah, we can drink. Yeah, we can oh, drink. Yeah. Really, we just meet guys. You can get high. You can do whatever you get want. Get high? Yeah. Is that the same as drinking? No. no. You can. You can. What, yeah. what do you do? What do you do to get high? Oh, you know. You oh, I know. I know. I just wanted to see what they said. I'm not that out of the loop. Okay. What do you get high on? Oh, it's weed. You smoke a joint, you know. And she looked at me like, don't you know? <laughs> So you smoke a joint? No, I used to put like cigarettes on in clubs there. Oh yeah, yeah I smoke joints are like cigarettes in clubs. Uh huh. And this is what you usually wear to the clubs? No. What do you wear? You want to go? <laughs> you want to go? You, well, you know, you just start taking off. Basically the way so you do I hear? It gets hot, you know, and you just start dancing. You know? yeah. Wait a minute, you wa <laughs> wait, 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 wait. you walk out of the house. Yeah, but like, like, wait a minute. Uh oh, wait a minute. I think a mother is coming out here. Oh my God! <laughs> is this your daughter? daughter. Your daughters. Daughters. Um. <laughs> No, 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 the bra, the bra, the bra. It's she did it too. She shit you. Oh, what's up? You gotta know, blame it on your sister. <laughs> sit, sit, uh, w welcome to the show. <laughs> your girls say that they, when they leave the house, you guys dress like this when mom sees you, right? If you don't I have that little you. smirky look on your face anymore. <laughs> what happened? And then when you get to the club, you take off all your clothes like that. No, not all your clothes. Mm -hmm. what, is, what is your name? Roxanne. Roxanne. Dude. Roxanne, what do you think about what you just saw backstage? Because you weren't supposed to come out till after the commercial. Oh. And she, Roxanne, no, 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 I'm coming out right now. <laughs> well, I guess you were a bit shocked to see this. She, yeah, showing them titties. Showing that bra. <laughs> she ain't supposed to be showing that bra. You go off. You, if, she, if she's doing that, she's looking to get right. No, no. Uh -huh. You know, they go looking. They want to be showing them bras. Mm -hmm. Then you, if you set it off for the folks, hey, they going to get it. Yeah. Nah. What did you think? They say they're going. Did you know that they're going to these clubs when they say they're going to go over to Christina's and spend the night? No, you're supposed to be 21 to get in the club. Well, they're drinking. They're smoking pot. There. What else did you say you were doing? <laughs> what else was it? <laughs> Going. Oh, oh God. What is your? What is your? What, what are you thinking as you're sitting backstage listening to all of this? If I can go out there and whoop their ass. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that mom 
was back there listening to all of this? No. Well, what are you feeling right now? You're holding on to that chair awfully tight. What are you thinking right now? Uh, you know, it's funny. Everybody had all of this confidence to come on national TV and tell their business, right? And then mom came up and all of a sudden it's like, ah! <laughs> why did you, why was it important for you to let your mom know what you three are up to? First of all, she ain't my child. Christina. I'm no, not taking my clothes off. I don't go to clubs and take my clothes off. I don't take my clothes off, Christina. Christina, don't try to act all I don't all do and jealous. I don't do drugs. Christina, you, 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 let me tell you, you came, you're the one helping plot all this. See, that you're guilty by association because <laughs> you're saying, you come on, girls, you can say you're spending the night at my house. They say the same thing to me, you know? It's like, it goes both ways. It's not just me now. Is Christina a bad influence on your girls, you think, Roxanne? They all the same. They we all act all alike. Shit. We're not. But I still can't anyway. stand her. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? She a bitch. She, she's what? She you know, I've, she I've never done anything to her. It's none of her business what I do with my mom. She, don't she, she always she butts in my business with she's my family. She's years old. And don't listen to her mom. No. <laughs> Why? Because I know this isn't all just a laughing matter to you. Tell your girls what your biggest concern is about the things that you've just that. heard, like pow, that they're doing. Well, pow, they looking to get smack, crack, jab, taken away. Mm-hmm. Okay. They looking to get raped. If you ain't looking to get raped, you got to be setting it out. Just because what you wear does not set you up for rape. You, no one has the right to rape anyone else, no matter oh, what you wear. They don't have the right, but hell, you, you ain't so bad, you honey. Want. You got this three is America. dudes. Honey, I can pick you three, four dudes in this crowd here. Honey, them dudes will get you, and they will do whatever they want, honey. And now, you ain't going to do nothing to them. Now, let, let me point this out to you. These two little angels <laughs> oh, <hell yeah. laughs> think they got off scot-free. We're going to hear your story and what your mom has to say right after this. We'll be right back. Why, it's double the fun as we make love matches on our Valentine's Day show. Next, Rolanda. Teenagers who are finally coming clean, coming clean to their parents about the dirty little deeds they do at night. Now, Roxanne is Natalie and Nicole's mom, and she just found out one whopping thing. I mean, the girls have been hanging out with their best friend, Christina, claiming they're spending the night at each other's house, and they're out smoking pot and drinking in clubs. They're underage, and Roxanne... What are you, why are you going to deal no, with No, she it? read a Bible. She's carrying a Bible. They, she got a Bible. I did she, not smoke pot. I don't need to. But hey, you drink. My first comment, I have a comment for the, the twins of pleasure over there. I can't imagine. You're 17 years old, man. You, you, the rest of your life's in front of you. What are you going to do? Get high and go to clubs the rest no, of your life? You're going like to need that. a job soon. I don't, it doesn't I look like you guys are going to school on an academic scholarship or anything. I, I am an honest And to the mother, have that. you ever heard the word role model? It's an important word in today's yeah. society. Yeah. I'm afraid to walk the streets because of a lack of role model as parents. Kids are running around doing whatever the hell they want. You don't even huh? know. No, but I was a kid not too long ago. On. I was 17 recently. Pretty quick to judge. Huh? Got a corner? I can't hear you, ma'am. You want to say, Roxanne? Right. But Roxanne, what, that's serious, though, because during the break, we had a conversation. Thank you. And one of the things, <laughs> and one of the things, no, seriously, though, one of the things that, that, that we brought up was, Roxanne, 
that if if girls were going over, I, I just remember, and, I, and this has been a while since I was 17, I will admit, but I remember when I went to go spend the night at somebody's house, my mom would pick up that phone and call that other person and say, is my daughter over there or she's coming over there? Have phone. Phone. We avoid that totally. So do you follow up on that? I mean, where's the parental? They'll be there. Oh, cause she a bitch. She, yeah, she don't even know. She, she's a bitch. Yeah, that's, that's a good question. Honey. Why did? Why do you have a problem with Christina so much? Damn sneaky. Cause oh, there you go. They be lying. Oh, we going to Christina's? No, you are not the only one there. lying. Your daughter's lying themselves All three, too. Y'all three, y'all. Y'all three. So you got something against me? One, two, three. I no. got. Well, yeah, you ain't mine, honey. Then why do you have such a problem with everything? Cause you a bitch. Oh my God. Oh, I'm the audience. You just outright. Excuse me. I just want to say there's an old adage. Quiet down, everybody. There's an old adage. The apple does not fall far from the tree. And I'm looking at the mother. I am a mother. And I don't have to worry about my children because I'm a nice mother and I have a nice mouth. That's Your good. mouth, you were so gruff when you walked out. Your That's daughters right. are going to take after you. You are the one no. who are teaching them. And they're going to learn by you. I don't have to worry about my kids. I don't talk like you. Thank you. All right. Let's bring another mother in here. Let me introduce the other girls to you. This is Nick and Chris down here. Now, what do you guys do? You tell your mom, come on, you got to come clean now. You tell mom that you're actually going to go out and do what? Well, I tell my mom that I'm going over to someone's house, but I don't tell her what I do. Mm-hmm. And sometimes Nick, she'll what about tell her you? where she's going, she'll just leave. Yeah. Huh? And sometimes, sometimes I'll just leave and I won't come back. You leave your house back. and you won't come back? Yeah. yeah. To when? To three days later. What you you wanna ask the question? Later. Come down here to that thing. I'll I'll pass the question on. Till when? How long do you have to go? Um longest has been three days. Three days? I've been dying longer than that. Where do, you, where do you go for three days? We'll go hang out at somebody's house. Okay. Go, yeah. We don't cause any problems. We don't get yeah. in trouble with the cops. I just sit there and smoke weed. And you sit there and smoke weed <laughs> for three oh, days. I don't you smoke stay out weed. For three days. <laughs> you smoke what are some days. other things that you do? Quiet down, everybody, because I, I would want. I know the mother who's listening to this wants to hear everything. So go on. What else do you do? Um, we drink. We go out to Daytona Beach. You know, go hang out on the boardwalk. We will go to Orlando. Go to some smoke shops, you know, go to the woods, make a bonfire, sit around, mm. drink, smoke, you know, smoke mm. a joint, hit the bong. Do you go to school? Yes, I do. Yeah, we go to school. I'm so, the National Honor Society. I don't go to school. So I understand I you're doing hard. a little bit more than smoking pot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what else are you doing? <laughs> Drinking. And? <laughs> um. <laughs> and? <laughs> And having sex. <laughs> and having sex. See, that's different. That's, that's different. totally different. And you're how old? 16. 16. 16. What do you think your mom would say if she, well, what do you think your mom is going to say? I have no idea. <laughs> well, let me ask you this. Let me, and this always is a curiosity to me. Why did you decide to come clean here on the Rolanda Show? Well, because I want my mom to know what I do because I would like to be able to tell her. All right. What well. I do when I go out, I, I would, I would like for my mom to know what I do when I go out. So you know, so you don't have to if, argue some, with if her. something happens to me, she you know. Your body. <laughs> <laughs> Santa, Santa. She wants her mother to know what she's doing. She wants her mother to know she's doing. We don't having sex with people. We I mean, don't what do you think your mother's going to come out here and say? She's drunk. proud of you to come clean on TV? You didn't straighten your act up. All you did is brag about it. I got drunk one night on New Year's Eve at a hotel room, and I stayed, she there, stayed there, even though I was supposed to go home. Now, you're over here having a reaction. Drive. Thank you. What was your reaction? Yeah, he pissed. I think that she just wants um, her mom to be a part of her life. Is that what you think? That's listen what to this. This was an interesting like comment. <laughs> listen to what he said. Go yeah, on. I think she wants to share what she's doing with her mom so her mom can be more a part of her life. And maybe she wouldn't do all those things. Yeah. Maybe things would be different. Yeah. yeah that's a very yeah. interesting point. Very, why don't we bring mom out? Come on, Janine. Come out. Come on, mom. a break and when we come back right, let's see what another mom has to say you don't look too happy in fact I see tears in your eyes we'll be right back in a minute. We'll be right back.
you're a mom and you've got a new man in your life, but that man wants you to choose between him and your children, then we do want to hear your story. Um, go on, have your conversation. And, and folks, let's keep it down because this is an important transition period maybe for these two girls and their moms. So keep the comments down. And mom, what is your reaction to hearing all the things that your two girls are doing? This is, this is you, all these things, mom, I don't do any of these things, mom, I'm, you know me better than that, mom, this is you. Nick, go on and tell Janine what else you girls do. Um, well, Kristen's only tripped on acid once. <laughs> go on. A couple times. Come on, get it all out now. Oh my God. Get it all out now. What else? That's it. That's all I've ever done. Mm -hmm. I just drank some pot and I choked one. <coughs> and I think mm -hmm. you brought up the S-E-X word. Oh, and I have sex. You do now all the time? Yeah, it's only with one person. But it's oh, nice. So Janine, now that you're hearing this, what are you thinking? What's going through your mind right now? Well, well the biggest thing that, that goes through my mind is, is I talk to her. We come across... I all the time talk to her about about drugs and this is the girl who went through don't say no to drugs program through school and the whole thing and she was really really into it mm -hmm. it's and than that. and you know same thing with sex she knows about protected sex and we talk about it I don't know you're disappointed Yes. Will you look at your daughter and tell her what you're feeling right now inside with this I'm revelation? hurt Kristen because you you know better You've always said to me, Mom, I know better than that. I'm, it's not something I'm going to do. And you turn around and you're doing it anyways. So how can you say one thing and then act differently? And so what are you trying to prove when you're doing the things that you keep telling me you're not doing? Well, I'm not trying to prove anything when I do it. I'm just... I don't think I'm trying to prove anything. I, I do it, you know, because we all just hang out and do that, you know? <laughs> Okay. We just hang out That's and have fun. At least we're not running it. around driving yeah. around drunk and getting in trouble with the cops. You, know, New Year's Eve, you are in I trouble. Don't. No, that's not true. You're in trouble with the cops. This is against the law, first of all. So you, you think that, that doing drugs is okay? It's still against the law. And if you got pregnant, that would be okay too? I want to I wanna be able to tell you what I do when I go you out. You want to describe the sex act to me and tell me how much you enjoyed it? I'm supposed to sit there and listen to it. Oh, Mom, it was so good. Oh, boy. We did it three times. From the audience. What type of uh, example are the parents setting for the teenagers so that they, that they can have some positive guidance when they do sneak out and go out. Mm -hmm. Well, my mom's my aunt works, okay, and like she goes to work and then we go out, you know. I really don't think it's the parents. That's how it goes. I mean, because I know kids who have like what would be considered ideal American, all American parents, oh, and their yeah, kids do the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I really don't think all this can be blamed on the parent. I don't. Yeah, no. Ooh, it's the yeah. individual. I don't know it's what the, the individual answer is. I'm saying I, that. We got, we got a lot of parents and kids who want to talk here today. Let's get into a little debate. I got to take a quick commercial. I'm going to come to everybody over here. Moms, not only have your daughter shocked you with a few surprises, up next some kids from your own hometowns like this young man Steve there they have a few things to share with you kids from the neighborhood and your own kids come and clean about what they really do when they go out at night we'll be right back hi Rolanda here just checking in to make sure you're enjoying my channel here if you like the material hit the like button and I'd love it if you would subscribe and be sure to hit the notification bell so you can be alerted every time I upload a new video. Boy, we had parents and kids alike wanting to react. Folks jumping out of their seats. So let's hear what some of the audience members have to say. I know you were somebody who was jumping up. Come on. You're the, you're whose aunt? Uh, the two girls, Natalie and Nicole. Oh. And number one. So you're Roxanne's sister. Yes, sir. And okay. I'd like to say, first of all, that I'd like a second turn at that belt for the way you dressed. I cannot believe you wore that, okay? How you pulled them down earlier and how you're wearing them now is two different things. So it's not just mom's shock no. today, it's aunt's too. Right, exactly. Mm. 
Um, anyhow, but you can't blame the parents for everything because they do set a good example for them mm -hmm. a majority of the time. Yeah. I mean, not every parent can be a perfect parent, mm -hmm. a Wally Cleaver type. No, they cannot all be like that. But I'll say this, that the girls, they're, they're pretty good girls. But you can't blame the parents for everything. They can only set an example. And if the children follow it, that's one thing. If they don't, that is. All right. I think Let's turn bring out some of those other folks from <laughs> the neighborhood who have a few things to say. Where's Steve and Matt? Come on. Hey, come on out, guys. Steve, okay. You sit over here. Come, uh, <laughs> Steve, Matt, how do you fit into this picture? Matt, let's start with you. How do you fit into this picture? I kind of just had casual sex with her. So. All right, man. <laughs> casual. <laughs> how do you have casual sex? It was casual. We're just friends. Uh -huh. Just because you have sex doesn't mean you have to have anything between each other. Yeah. 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 Steve, how does that make you feel? So um, <laughs> I know this is tough. Janine, I know this is a tough one for you. You know, you think. I just turned around and I said to Krista, how does that make you feel? I mean, that was like, no big deal. I just yeah, poked it in there, but didn't mean anything. Did that affect you? Huh? Did that affect you, what he just said there? Very no. casual? No, because I call it that too. Because we're, we just hang out, you know? One day we'll hang out, you know? Sometimes we'll hang day out, we'll sometimes we'll have sex. We'll have sex. And yeah, one day we'll have a drink. Sex. It's just... I mean, Mm -hmm. It's just the way we are, and you know, for long time to trust. You know, you know these are you types know. of things that you wish that you could talk about with your mom instead of with a whole audience full of people making comments on your life. Yeah, I wish I could tell my mom what I do when I go out, you know, so she can, like, I guess what that guy said, you know, be more a part of my life. Can you look at her right now? And you know something? You need a pat on the back because the guy down here who told me that he had lilac hair you were absolutely right. Right? You were right. Nice work, huh? Yeah, nice work. Is this something you go through too? What's up? Go to trying to deal, get closer to your parents too. Is, is that how you knew about it? Uh, no, we're, I'm pretty tight with my parents. You are. Mm -hmm. You talk. You have good conversations that like what Christine's hoping to have with Janine. Yeah, my mom's yeah. real cool. Okay, Christine, why don't you look at your mom eye to eye? and tell her what kind of relationship, because look folks, let's face it, when these folks leave, their lives are not gonna be the same. Things are going to change, and for some, perhaps drastically. So on that note, look at your mom eye to eye, because both of you are going through a time right now, and tell her what kind of relationship you hope to have with her after this. I hope that we have a close relationship, and I can tell you what what I do when I go out. You want to tell me that you have sex? <laughs> I want you want to tell me that you smoke a joint? I want to tell you, I want to tell you what I do. Yes, basically, yes. I want to tell you that I, that I go over to my friend's house, you know, and that we got high, you know? And what if she says, you can't do that as long as you're my Yeah, kid. what are you trying? You trying to get approval from me? Is that what if you I want? If I can't, well, I want you to know what I'm doing. I mean, cause Wait, okay, like, what do you want me to say to you? Say, Kristen, I don't want you doing that anymore. Or Kristen, don't do that anymore. Or Kristen, if I you're going to be that kind of person, then get out of here. I want you to, like, leave me alone, but I want to be able to, for me to tell you. <laughs> well, you yeah, can't have to. both. <laughs> maybe, Kristen, or do you really, maybe you really want your mom to say, I don't want you doing it anymore, and you say, okay. Do you want discipline? Do I want, do I want discipline? Do you want discipline? Do you want to stop doing what you're doing? I don't want to stop hanging out with my friends. Um, you know, we have a, a, a an expert type coming on the show a little later who deals with teenagers and maybe there's a happy medium I don't know what you do in this situation also we hadn't forgotten about you buddy we're gonna to talk to you after the break and also we're gonna to talk to some teenagers um, who have even more startling confessions to their parents about sex drugs and rock and roll we'll be right back this is power in New York club scene $10 vials of coke $5 hits of acid, $25 bags of K.
63% of the parents in here think they know what their kids are doing. That's what our little poll so showed there. Well, some parents who came to the show thought they knew what their kids were doing and got a little shocked. The question we're asking is, do you know what your kids do at night when they say they're going to a basketball game or the movie? What do you have to say, young man? Um, now that the parents know what the daughters are doing, how are they going to handle the situation? Yeah, that's a good question. Very good question. Excellent question. <laughs> Roxanne, what are you going to do? Because what are you going to do after this? See what I can do. I can't stop them from smoking pot because I can't be with them 24-7. You mm can't. -hmm. But what do you do? Do you have better dialogue? Do you? What do you... Oh, I can see. I'll, I will go find out and see what else I can do for him. Mm -hmm. out, Are you concerned them. about sex? They've already mentioned alcohol and drugs. No, we're all virgins. You're all three virgins. You don't know. Yeah, they are. So, come here. What's, what's your name? Steve. Steve. And Steve, how, how do you fit into this picture? <laughs> well, um, it's a long story. See, we met downtown, and uh. Who met? All three of us. You met all three of them, huh? Yeah, and we, um, me and my friends were downtown, so we just started talking to them. And then we, they said they were going to go get in their car, but they don't even have a car. <laughs> they didn't even own up to drive. They said, oh, we parked over here. So what were they like when so, they were hanging out? When we left, they went with me to my truck, so we dropped everybody else, and I stayed the night at their house. At their yeah. house? Yeah. Did you know that, Roxanne? He slept oh, on yeah. the couch. He slept on the couch. Is that where you slept? Well, he got <laughs> in about four or five. She met a strange man. She woke up in about he ain't two. He a man. Years. And so you slept. Did, wait a minute. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. <laughs> did you sleep why, on the couch? Did you trust us? No. Where did you sleep? In the bed. Ah. Whose bed? <laughs> no, not with the mother, honey. <laughs> did you sleep with one of the girls? Yeah. Who? Nicole. We didn't have. We didn't have a sex. We don't have sex. We never had sex. So. That's right. It's, you don't. It's yeah. I, you don't know. Yeah. You don't know. You don't know, you don't know me. You don't know us. What? We don't have sex. No, no, no. The gentleman here just said that he had sex with Nicole. No, I don't know. He said he slept in the same bed. He slept in the same bed. He said he didn't say he. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, I think you guys should really listen to your parents because I have a strong mother and she instilled in me what's important. And if I didn't listen, I know I got my behind waxed and I wasn't going for that. I mean, at times, you know, I didn't. I wanted to learn for myself. That's a natural thing for a child to want to learn to go off on their own. And my mother said you should wait till you find someone that loves you and cares for you to, to have sex with because it's a loving, it's a caring thing two people need to have together. You can't just be like, yo, I want to hit you, hit you up, hit skins. It's not about that because you need to care about somebody. I went out, I did what I wanted to do, and I regret a lot of people that I was with. But you know, when you find somebody that you love and care about, you will you will appreciate that. I'm telling you. And I I commend you exactly young ladies for being virgin. That's exactly why we're virgin. You're you not talking you, to us. You're talking you know to something. Let me tell you. But yeah. you know something. Yeah. I gotta say this Looking though. Nice. And Nicole, I'm, I gotta, I gotta really be honest here. Yeah. You say that you didn't have. You say you're He's a virgin, a but you got a guy up there who's sending out a whole different message yeah. about you, and your reputation is just as important yeah. I know, as what you do. I, no one's gonna tell me. I know myself, and God knows I'm a virgin. Okay. All right. And I commend you for that. Yeah, he's a liar. Yes. This is my sister. I know he's a liar. Stand up. Oh, come on, Steve. I want, I want to know. Quiet down, please. I want to know where do you get the money to go out and do all this party? I, I do you work? Pay for I have a job. We have jobs. You, you guys pay work? for it all. Shit. I have a job, so. I, I want you to meet somebody else. I don't know a 15-year-old who we will call John. <laughs> John is. So just for the sake of this, let's imagine he's your kid. What would you do? John, um, what do you do, or first of all, when you go out at night and you're going out doing some of your deeds, where do you tell mom and dad you're going? Uh, I usually tell them going by a friend's house. And uh, actually, I go out and party. Uh -huh. New what York kind City of nightclubs, baby. Uh -huh. <laughs> what kind of things do you do that you think might really, if your folks knew, that would might really shock them? I mean, what kind of things do you do? <laughs> drug usage. <laughs> like what kind of drug usage, John? Uh, well, back back in the day, about a year ago, I was involved with some pretty hard stuff. Uh, basically, powders such as cocaine. Uh, 
I would do a little bit of coke when I get out to the clubs at night. It'd keep me up all night, and then to come home, I'd uh, have a nice bag of D heroin, and it put heroin? me right to sleep. Yeah. It'd put Wait me right. Wait a minute, John. To at 15, you're using heroin? Of course, I think you should try it. <laughs> <laughs> so, John, what do you think that your folks would say if? Uh, what do you think, think your my, folks would say if they knew that that was you on incognito? Oh, I'll probably get kicked out. Does that concern you at all? Uh, of course. I think at 15, I'd be real concerned to get kicked out of my house with a heroin and cocaine habit. Hey, it's not a habit. It's not but a it, habit. It's not something that I need. Is it something you're proud of? Mm, not really. <laughs> So why are you talking about it and coming clean with us? What is your purpose? What is the motivation for being so honest, which I applaud, but what are you, why? Why? Yeah. Send out a message that it's not such a great thing for all these little kids who are coming out to the clubs and thinking it's all fun and games, man. I, I want to tell you something. Listen, I, I got involved in the New York club scene when I, when I just turned 14. And I'm going to be 16 next month, mm -hmm. and it's been pretty hard on me. I mean, it, I miss a lot of school. I'd come home from the club at the wee hours in the morning, like 6. Sometimes I'd come home closer to noon, and, and I would just I would be wired, strung out. Can you tell me how it, what it makes you feel about yourself when you come home all wired and strung out like that? Like, uh, like wired and strung out. <laughs> but There's I mean, no other I can't, way to put it. I can't it's not imagine. something to be proud of. Well, let me ask you, let me ask you this way, John. What effect <laughs> has all of that partying had on your life right now? It's had a bad effect. It made my rep really bad. I'm trying to get out of it. I, was, I used to go out to the nightclubs Wednesday through Saturday, every night. And then uh, I'm sort of cutting back. I'm only going maybe once a week, twice a week. How much school have you missed, John? Ah, uh, this year maybe around 85 days. Mm. What is a parent to do? That kid could be yours. Because no parent who came on this show knew what they were going to hear today. What do you do? Advice up next. Who had a question? mom and you've got a new man in your life, but that man wants you to choose between him and your children, then we do want to hear your story. Now you know, not every teenager has the guts to open up so honestly to their parents about their secrets uh, like we've seen so far. In fact, sometimes kids like to try it out on a brother or sister first. It may not have to do with drugs, it may not have to do with sex, it may have to do with any other kind of secret they want to share with a brother or sister like you, Sabrina, come on. <laughs> this is Sabrina, and your brother, come on, stand up and join us. Your brother um, wanted to come on the show today, mm -hmm. and you know, I guess he's practicing on you before he goes to mom and dad. Yeah, but be he's, good. that'd be good. <laughs> what, you said that you weren't sure what he was gonna do. No, but knowing him, it'll be something totally over the top. Totally over the, why? Just, that's how he is. That's the way he is. Yeah. Okay, hold on, fasten your seatbelt, okay? Because <laughs> your brother said he has somebody he wants you to meet. Okay. Okay, look right up there. get this story. <laughs> Ernie Omega and your friend? I'm Vanity. Vanity. Well, sis, uh, what, do you, what do you think? 
<laughs> is he always like this? No, not at home. Have you ever seen it? Look at those shoes. No, I, I, no. <laughs> he doesn't, Never? He does not leave the house looking like that. So is there anything else that you want to say to your sister, Ernie Omega? Yeah, I wanted to introduce you to my boyfriend, Sal. <laughs> So, so what you're telling your sister is you not only like to dress up, but you're also gay. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm telling you. What's your reaction, Sabrina? Um, I'm surprised, actually. Um, I, I really didn't expect it from him, but there's, you know, not going to make me think any different of him. But. Why did you decide Ernie Omega to come on TV and tell your sister this? In drag, no less. Well, I don't really consider this drag. I'm a club kid, and I'm just telling her because I want to get it off of my chest. Uh-huh. You wanted to get off that you're gay, Church. Yeah, because I didn't want to just keep it a secret and have her expecting something from me that's never going to happen, mm -hmm. like me getting married or something. <laughs> Vanity, what about you? You got dragged into this, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> No, well, his his sister, I, she never had an idea that me and Ernie were together because me and her were like buddy buddy together, yeah, and yeah. We, she, she had no clue, no clue, no, no clue. You, no idea. Do you, does everybody feel better now that the secret's been revealed? Yeah, they feel better. Do you feel better? Eventually, I'll feel better after you get yeah. over the initial yeah. shock, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, what do you do when you find out that you're that you're Teen, relative, kid, brother, <laughs> brother, is drinking or drugging or sexing or dragging or whatever. I want you to meet Carol Weston, who spends an awful lot of time writing about teenagers. She's here with some advice for both generations. What do you do if you are someone who is in a family and you get hit with a whammy like today? Help us deal with this. Where do these folks go after today? We'll be right back in a minute. <laughs> She can handle this shock. She can handle it. But what do you do, Carol, when you hear it's such a revelation like this? I mean, how do you move on after this? I think you thank your stars that you have a sister who can handle it because <laughs> it's not so much that you came out of the closet, it's that you did it on national TV. It's really hard. And that Chris did it to Janine on TV. It's just really sending your parents for a loop. So I think, you know, I say to you guys, be careful and be responsible. I think to all the young people, there's so much self-destructive behavior that we have seen today. So it's not the world it was 20 years ago. AIDS is the leading cause of death between people, among people ages 25 to 44. That's exactly so, why we don't. Okay, I'm sex. glad you're not having sex and that you're an honor student. I'd like to talk to everybody else, okay? And I hope you keep that up then. Listen, guys, a club is a really dangerous place to hang out. But you know why? Because suddenly this whole thing of we're not having sex, you have a couple of drinks, you do, you do drugs, and marijuana is a lot stronger than it was a long time ago. And suddenly you are having sex. You know what you're doing when you're high. You know, like you're like, oh, you don't spaced out or nothing. I mean, come on. I've had, I've, I've, I've drunk in my time. It's not as though you're completely out of control, but you're out of control enough that you might end up saying yes when you wanted to say no. On campuses, 90% of date rapes are alcohol related. On the streets, 30% of car crashes are alcohol related. And college suicides, 60% are alcohol related. Alcohol happens to be a legal drug, but if you abuse it, you are asking for trouble. And I'm going to hit the other side of the room. <laughs> I just feel like when you said casual sex, okay, we've all heard about casual sex. The first time you have sex, it should not be casual. It should be special. It should be wonderful. You should take your time. If you get pregnant, are you going to have... If you get pregnant, are you going to have a casual 
baby or a casual abortion? Or are you going to hope for a casual miscarriage? Because condoms do break. And anybody boy, who isn't Carol. wearing condoms every single time they have sex in 1995 and, and hereafter, unless you're trying to have a baby with your spouse, is out of their minds. I mean, one quarter of the cases of STDs are among teenagers. And, sexually uh, transmitted diseases, STDs. Sexually transmitted diseases. <laughs> Herpes, there's no cure. Just because it doesn't kill you doesn't mean you want to get it. Chlamydia is the most common one there is. So kids, be careful. And mothers, keep please communicating that you care, that you're worried, that you want to be compassionate. Now, Carol, Don't just honey, get the belt out. I do out. care, honey, and I do worry, but you can only do so much, honey. Uh, no, I, I So what do we do? Give, give up? up? What, what do you do? Give up? From the audience. Don't give up. Good question for Kristen. How would you feel if your daughter was doing all these things when, when you have a daughter? What would you or do you if you kids, were a mom? They were acting like that, sleeping with punks, the kid that was up there before. <laughs> um, if, I, if I had kids, I would, I would, you know, tell them, you know, that I want them to be open and honest with me, and I want them to, if they're going to drink, I want them to drink, you know, with me, you know, not with me, but, you know, at my house, you know, I want them to do it. So you wish that mom drink. has said, if you want to drink, come on, <laughs> sit down here, you're going to drink with me, I'm going to well, show you how. Not, like, sit down and drink yeah. with me, but uh -huh. I mean, I'd rather her have, like, her friends come over and, okay. you so know. So you'd rather her, be a, her be a part of your your curiosity I and your like growth? To, you know, I would like for her to tell me, you know, what she does, you know, so I'll know what she does, you know, where she's going and really what she's really doing. Okay. We'll be right back in a minute. Does that make sense to you? <laughs> So what's your idea of a perfect Valentine date? Ending the night with her body covered with whipped cream. <laughs> Why, it's double the fun as we make love matches on our Valentine's Day show. Next, Rolanda. These young men said before we said goodbye, they wanted to say one thing, and that was what? Uh, that not all kids like go out and do drugs, and uh, you know, get, you know, we read, we sing, you know, we work at church, you know, we do a lot of things, you know. Yeah. That, 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 it's not all of life is drugs, you know. There's other stuff out there, you know. Mm -hmm. Now I know you have a lot of explaining to do with all these dog collars and things pierced in your face there, well, you know. but you know something? The point you brought up was absolutely brilliant and, and one that needs to be made, that not all kids are out of control. We have some wonderful teenagers right here in this audience. I want to thank you all for joining us. Thank you so much for being with us today.